You know, Nick was riding shotgun with boys. <laughs> but thank the Lord, we proud of them. Amen. Proud of them and let the Lord be. That's what it's all about, ain't it? Praise the Lord. All right, okay, all right. Well, let's get the word. Y'all ready for the word? Yeah. Anybody ready for the word? Yeah. Ready to learn today's class? Yeah. All right. Let's pray. Father, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father, for all that you are doing in this hour. I thank you. I thank you for who you are. Yes. Holy Spirit, I know you as a master teacher, so I step back, you may step forward, and you will teach us the word. Yes. I thank you in advance for everything you will share yes. in this brief moment of time. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on, class. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. All right. Let's pray the Lord. Yes, sir. All right. Well, oh, we're continuing with our sermon series, The Power to Control Your Prosperity. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And we are looking at control yourself. Tell yes, somebody to control yourself. Control yourself. <laughs> All right. Let's get those Bibles up. Yes, sir. This is my Bible. This is my Bible. I am who it says I am. I am who it says I am. I'm a living spoken word. I'm a living spoken word. I walk in divine authority. I walk in divine authority. I'm kingdom minded. I'm kingdom minded. And this that I hold. And this that I hold. Is more than enough. Is more than enough. And last but not least. And last but not least. I am he. I am he. Who sent me. Who sent me. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. All right. Joshua chapter 1. Joshua chapter 1, uh, beginning at verse 8. Joshua chapter 1, beginning at verse 8. It says, King James Version today, it says, This book of the law shall not depart out of their mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, the Good News Translation. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. One verse there says, For the spirit that God has given us does not make us timid instead. Say, let me say, instead, instead. Yeah, instead. His spirit fills us with power. Yeah, yeah. Tell somebody, say, you have, you have power. You have power. Love. Tell me, you have love. You have love. Yeah, yeah. And self control. Tell them, say, you have self control. You may be seeing the presence of the most high God. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. We're going to continue on today. Control yourself. We're going to part two. Control yourself. Tell somebody, control yourself. Control yourself. Tell them again, control yourself. Control yourself. Yeah. Tell them you have the power, have the power to, control to control your prosperity. Your prosperity. Now tell them I'm prosperous. I'm prosperous. <laughs> Uh, tell them again, I'm prosperous. I'm prosperous. Tell them I have more than enough. I have more than enough. Yeah. Yeah. You better hear me. All right, so now, all right. So we got the revelation that, um, that you know, we have the power to uh, not only control our prosperity, but we have the power to control ourselves, which is huge. Yes. All right, yeah. because we live in a world that's out of control, yeah. and if you're not careful, you'll be out of control. Because yeah. you will allow your emotions for to run you. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. All right, you allow your flesh just to just have its way in your life, and God say, "Wait a minute, I gave you power." Yeah. So first of all, know that you can handle whatever it is you face. Yeah. Yeah. He said, "Then I fill you with love." He said, recognize, understand, nothing going to work without my love. Yes. And it's already in you. I filled you with yes. it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yes. Okay, then he said, I filled you with self-control. Yeah. Glory be to God right there. Glory. He said, wait a minute. He said, I didn't give you self-control. I filled you with it. Wow. Wow. I didn't give you power. I filled you with power. Yeah. I didn't give you love. I filled you with love. Yes, sir. 
I didn't give you self-control. I feel you with self-control. So on your worst day, you be in control. Uh-oh, uh-oh, hold on. No, 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 no. Because he filled me with it. That means since he filled me with it, watch this now, that means I'm full of it. Tell me I have capacity to control myself. Uh-oh. Okay, I, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta really grab it. I gotta understand that. So we said, our quote was said, the disciplines you establish today will determine your success tomorrow. Yeah. So we understand we need discipline. Take that and say you gotta be disciplined. You gotta be disciplined. Alright, you, you, you gotta grab that. Alright, discipline requires control, self-control. Yeah. You gotta know how to say no, and you gotta know how to say yes. That's right. Come on, now. You gotta know when to say no, when to say yes. Hello? You got to be able to say no to your thoughts. Yeah, okay. that's right. Okay. That's right. I always get a little quiet through that. Okay, okay, your thoughts will try and talk you out of being disciplined. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. All right, I'm going to say it like this. Self-discipline begins with mastering your thoughts. Yes. Oh, Lord. Yes. Okay, self-discipline begins with mastering your thoughts. Yeah. You got to master your thoughts. Yeah. Same way you go to school and get a master's. Yeah. That means you got to study stuff. You got to pass tests. You have to pass quizzes. All right, come on. You have to write papers. Come on, you have to do theses. Come on, somebody. If you're going to master your thoughts, you have to get a master's in thinking. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Come on now. I need to see it. Self-discipline begins with mastering your thoughts. If you don't control what you think, you can't control what you do. Lord, this is a good preaching right here. Take that and say, you may not shout, but you will move them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, I didn't come to shout, I come to move you. Watch now. If you don't control what you think, you can't control what you do. All right, so you will never be able to control your actions if you don't first get a handle on how you think. You, you got to grab that. No, 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 no. It's not that you don't know the right information, but you don't know how to control the information. You don't know how to govern the information. You understand? You, you got to be disciplined with the information that you have. Some people have information they're not ready for. Yeah. Yeah. Right, you, you have to understand that. All right, all right. Watch, 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 watch. All right, all right, so prosperity is, I'm just doing a little quick review real fast. Prosperity is to be successful and secure with the capacity to meet every spiritual and natural need as needed. Yeah. That's prosperity. Tell you that's prosperity. That's what that is. Prosperity. All right, to be successful and secure with the capacity to meet every spiritual and natural need as needed. Uh -huh. All right, what's control? Control is the power to influence or direct behavior. All right, because remember, when we first started the series, though, we understand most times we hear the word control, we don't like it. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> As if I tell you what to do, they ain't going to tell me what to do because I'm grown. Yeah. They'll tell me, well, I'm a man just like you, I'm a woman just like you. You ain't going to tell me what to do. Well, okay. That's what's called chain of command. Chain of command wasn't important, right. then it wouldn't be there. Right. Right. Hello, somebody. Chain of command is there for to tell people what to do. Hello, somebody. So control is necessary. <gasps> no, pastor. Yeah, yeah, control is necessary. Do that wouldn't be a chain of command. There wouldn't be a CEO, a CFO. Uh -huh. There wouldn't be directors. All right. There wouldn't be managers. There wouldn't be supervisors. There wouldn't be team leads. Ain't nobody talking this out. Why are you getting quiet? Come on, somebody. No, they're there in place. But to control the movement of the business. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, we in kingdom business, though. Amen. Hello. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Amen. Hello, somebody. And God has chain of commands. Y'all been yeah. talking. Yeah. All right? So control is the power to influence or direct behavior, to be in charge of, to guide or manage. I got to grab that. So he said, hold on. This is coming from the kingdom, though, from the word of God. Yeah. So, so, so I know it's, it's positive. It's not negative. That's right. You may think it's negative initially. Yeah. 
When, when God is leading you through somebody to tell you, get your attitude in check. You may think that's negative. Yeah. Yeah, tell me what to do. He tell me. Tell me. Tell me to get my attitude together. Ain't nobody will talk to me like that. Yeah. No, they stop. They try to help you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Go ahead. Try, nobody has ever checked you before. Yeah. Come on. Amen. Come on. Nobody at all. Yeah. And they pulled y'all to the side to tell you. Yeah. 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 Amen. And they didn't do it in front of everybody. Pull y'all to the side. Right. You don't get a hell yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Too cool right now. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on now. Hey, come on, you got all bitter about it. Jesus. Hello, Amen. come control me. No, trying to promote you. Because if you don't have a control of your attitude, meaning, like, watch it, meaning, you have good attitude and bad attitude. Right. Yes. Right, bad attitude, nobody like you. They don't like you. Because you stink. Yes. A good attitude is positive. You're always looking upward. Yeah. Bad attitude, always looking downward, sideward, and everything else. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah. All right? So you have to control which attitude you're going to have. Yeah. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. All right? So the person being pulled to the side, they're being pulled to the side and say, hey, get a handle on that negative, on that bad attitude. Yeah. Let's get rid of that. And let's go with the good attitude. Yeah. Because that's going to take you far in life. Yeah. All right. Hello. All right, when that person, if the person takes that advice, they take that counsel and go with it, their life just changed that day. Yeah. Amen. Okay, the discipline you established today will determine your success tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow just became successful for the same person that used to have a nasty attitude. Yeah. Mm. All right, see, <laughs> are y'all here today? Right? You, you got to see that. Yes, that's shout. She should shout it in. Because watch this. What happened? When it changed that, when that person decided to make that decision, y'all ready? The law of attraction kicked in. Yeah. Now that person is going to draw positive yeah. people and positive stuff in his or her life. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! That's good. Then. All right. So control is the power to influence or direct behavior. To be in charge of, to guide or manage. So control, it guides and manages us as well. Yes. So the word of God is a guide, it's a manager. Yes. It guides us, it manages us, right? Y'all right. hear? Yes, All right, 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7, it reminds us for the spirit that God has given us, does not make us timid. Instead, his spirit fills us with power, love, and self-control. So self-control is the ability to regulate one's emotions, Thoughts and behavior. Don't miss it, class. In the face of temptations and impulses. Yes. And we understand that impulses are sudden urges or desires. Yeah. We get that, right? You know, all of a sudden you sit there, you in church, and all of a sudden you get a sudden urge or desire to go outside and check your car and make sure it's locked. Uh, no, dog, you need control there. Yeah. First of all, nobody's getting out of your car. Come on, now. come on, now. come on! No, no, you, you got to control that. You have the ability, watch this, to control that impulse. Yeah. They be like, the devil is a lie. I got angels. I have angels outside, stationed outside around my car. Hello, come on, that's the word right there. I have angels. Got it? Okay, you gotta understand that. So it's the ability to regulate one's emotions. You got to regulate your emotions. mean, control your emotions. Uh -huh. right? Your thoughts control your thoughts. Yeah. Your behavior control your behavior. In the face of temptations. Yeah. All right? We understand temptations. That's stuff we like. That's right. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Always get quiet right there. Yeah. Folks get quiet when you start talking about temptations. Yeah. It's just nasty. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. Watch it now. Me, it's stuff you like, but you know it's wrong. Yeah. Hello, somebody. And the only reason that temptation is still there because you won't divorce it. Yeah. <laughs> you won't divorce it because you like it too much. That's your side piece. Yeah. Hello, somebody. That temptation is your side piece. When nobody else around, that's what you go to. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. And you know it's wrong. You know it's not right. Yeah. All right? So when you hear the word temptation, you get quiet like a mouse. Yeah. Licking ice running. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Quiet this out. See, yeah. see, see? It went right back down, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, watch this. Why? Because temptation is real. Yeah. Amen. 
But I'm telling you, you and I, we have a choice in the decision and the power to control our temptation. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have to give in to them. Okay, okay, there's no, now no temptation that is common to man. Come, come on. Yes. Oh, no, no, that's, that's in the Bible. Yes. With the temptation, God provides a way of escape. Yes. Yes. To what God said, hold on. First of all, I need you to know, you're not the first person that deals with this. Yes. Yes. Somebody else dealt with the same thing and got delivered. Yes. Yes. And I'm going to tell you how they got delivered. You ready, class? Yes. They decided they no longer was going to do it. Yes. Verse 14, uh, New, uh, New American Standard uh, Bible says, uh, talks about the love of Christ controls us. All right, because we're talking about control. All right, verse 14 says, For the love of Christ controls us. No, nah, Pastor, no, nah, what is it? Having concluded this, that one died for all, therefore all died. And he died for all, so that those who live would no longer live for themselves. Oh, my God. But for him who died and rose on their behalf. Okay. So we understand the love of Christ controls us. Okay. So the scripture says that. Huh? All right, so the scripture says the love of Christ controls us. Hold on. But wait a minute. But you say you don't want to be controlled. But the Bible says that the love of Christ controls us. So there is a control in the word of God. That's meant to control us. His love is meant to control us. Uh-oh, watch this. If you still have a negative uh, revelation or perspective or perception about control, you won't let Christ's love control you. My God. My God. Because although it's Christ, you see the person that used you. Uh-oh. Come on. That's why, that's why we got to correct our visual, our revelation, our understanding of how we see control. Because if we still see it through an air lens, then we will never allow Christ's love to control us. You better hear what I'm telling you. Come on now, come on. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, when, when, when our Stephen was getting stoned, he did what Christ did. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to bother with it. God got this. Yeah. Now, that was love. That was Christ's love controlling, controlling him not to retaliate. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, it was, watch this. It was the love of the word of God in Christ that controlled Christ while he was on the cross yeah. not to retaliate. Yeah. Yeah. He had all power when he was on the cross. Let's remember. He could have retaliated while he was on the... Yeah, yeah. I thought you read the same Bible I read. Okay, he, it's not that he didn't have power. He, when he came to the earth, he didn't lose his power. Okay, he controlled his power. Come on, somebody. He's on the cross. Everybody with him doing all kinds of stuff. All right, and whatnot. And Christ, watch it. He stayed there and took it and never retaliated. What was controlling him? Love. Love was controlling him. And the only reason we retaliate is because we don't let Christ's love control us. Oh, this is some good teaching here. I'm going to toot my own horn on that one. No, you have said, no, no, no. The love of Christ is meant to control us. But if you have a air view of control, you and I will not allow his love to control us. Yeah. Christ will be telling us that you need to do this. But you're like, no, oh, I, I ain't doing that. I ain't looking like no chunk. I ain't doing that. Go apologize. I ain't, no, I ain't apologize. No, no, no. I ain't doing that. You need to. No, 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 no. Yeah. You're not letting the love of Christ control you. Yeah. Yeah. Because you have an air view of, of control. Jesus. And Christ is trying to take you to next level living. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Christ said, I want to see how far can I trust you. Jesus. Hello, somebody. Are y'all here? Yes, All right, so watch this. So I got to trust him no matter what while doing what's required. Yes. Okay. Okay. No, I'm, I'm going to trust him while apologizing. Yes. Yes. I'm going to trust him while living right. Yes. Hello. I, 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 I'm going to trust him 
while making sure I do what I say. Oh, come on. Now, I'm going to trust him while loving people who appear difficult to love. I'm going to trust him because his love is meant to control me in those areas. Yeah, yeah. All right, 3 John chapter 2. Let's go there. Uh, 3 John verse 2. I'm sorry. 3 John, 3 John verse 2. Uh, it says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. So, you know, your soul is your mind, your will, and your intellect. Now we're getting in your mind. We're getting in your mindset. Tell you, let me tell you your mindset. Your mindset. All right, now, let's go to meditate because that's where we left off on Sunday. Praise God. All right, okay, here we go. Check that and say, that's why it's so important, so important. to go back and review the lessons. Go to YouTube or go to Facebook. But you need to review the lessons. Here, there, and everywhere. So pastor, don't have to take 20 minutes to review. <laughs> Are y'all here? Okay, here we go, all right? Here it is. All right, beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. All right, what's meditate? Now, we're getting into meditation. We're getting our mindset now. Yeah. Meditate is to consistently think on a thing, to analyze it, understand it, define it, and know it. Boy, I'm going to tell, tell you right now. I'm going to tell you. That, that's worth a good offer right there. All right, okay. That's worth it. All right, here it is. Meditate yeah. is to consistently think on a thing. Uh -huh. Brothers and sisters, you shot me right there. Because I have 25,000 things going through my mind at one time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, praise God. That's why you're going to control that. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You're going to put a stop to that. Yeah. All right, meditate is to consistently think on a thing. Yeah. To think on a thing. That means one thing. All right? To analyze it, one thing. To, under, all right, to understand it, one thing. To define it, one thing. And know it, one thing. So, he told Joshua, but thou shalt meditate day and night. Yeah. Talking about this book of law, the whole word. So you trying to tell me I got meditate on one thing at a time. Now you got it. So that's why studying is never an option. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are y'all here? Amen. If we okay, no, 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 no. I gotta meditate. No, I got I gotta I gotta meditate. Look, watch this. No, no. I'm I'm just giving you an example. You know, uh Ruth chapter four, verse one, then then went Boaz up to the gate. Well, sure, I can meditate on that all week. All week long, I'm going to meditate on that. Because I need to get, I need to know the significance of, 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 of a boy that's going up to the gate. Yeah. What's up with that? What is God trying to show me? Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. I, I need to see it. He was telling Joshua, he said, look, no, no, no. Meditate on it day and night. He said, because you are getting it engrafted in you. It's becoming a part of you now. Yeah. Create in me a clean heart. Let, let's not go to renew this right spirit yet. Create in me a clean heart. Let's just meditate on that all week long. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. No, 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 no. Create in me a clean heart. So if you will create in me, I know it's just about me. It has nothing to do with my neighbor. This has to do with me only. Create in me so it's internal. It's not external. So it has to do with my inside. It has to do with what I have going on personally. Yeah. He's going to deal with that. Come on. Created me a clean heart. That means my heart must be dirty somewhere. Wow. Oh, this good teaching here. Create in me. Me. Not my neighbor. I'm still focused on me. Create in me a new heart. We got to get rid of the dirt. He got to show me the dirty stuff. Every time I meditate, he's going to show me something fresh that's dirty in my heart so I can get rid of that. Create in me a clean heart. He's going to keep showing me more stuff. Tomorrow, he's going to show me something else. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And by the time we get finished with creating me a clean heart, we ready for the renew the right spirit now. Come on, class. Because I'm clean. I'm holy. I'm ready now, baby. 
Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. He shows me what career path to take. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me in this house. Call somebody. He shows me what I should apply for and what I shouldn't. Ain't nobody talk. No, he's like, he wants it. He becomes like a tree firmly planted and fed. Oh, so when the tree is planted, it can't be moved. Don't miss that. It can't be moved. It can't be moved. It cannot be manipulated. It cannot be emotionally driven. Nobody's talking. It cannot be convinced of something that's not, that's other than what God has said. Because it's firmly planted. It's firmly what class? Planted. If it's planted, then the only way it can come up, it got to be uprooted. If it's planted, that means it's growing. If it's planted, that means it's producing. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on. I feel my help now. No, no. He said, no, no. It's firmly planted. Oh, that means it's in there. Winds can come. Storms can come. But it's in there. Lord, uh, uncertain seasons can show up. But the tree ain't going nowhere because it's firmly planted. Watch this. And it's not hungry. It's fed by the streams of water. It's fed by what God has placed all around. It's fed by what God has said. It's fed. Are y'all here? No, 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 no. It's consistently fed. So it don't matter what C-SPAN say. It don't matter. Can't touch my prosperity because you didn't prosper me in the first place. I'm fed. Are you here? Woo! Lord have mercy. Woo! Okay, what? I need to see it. Y'all ready? Y'all want some more revelation? You ready? All right, say yes. Watch that. Watch it. Woo! Boy, getting good. Woo! I hate bro Coke. I hate you. I hate you. Woo! Woo! I hate you. I
because it's still getting faded. Yeah. Okay, you don't get it yet. So you're trying to figure out why you don't look like your nanny, although you're going through a lot of hell and high water, because you're staying connected to the tree. And you find the plant by the streams of water that God keeps right on feeding you. Tell them to say something. Some hell ain't all bad. Some hell ain't all bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some hell is meant to produce your fruit. Okay, 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 okay. Here it is. Carry on joy. When you fall in divers temptation, trials, and tribulations. James say, get excited about it. But well, why would he say get excited? Say because some trials, some tribulations will produce the right fruit inside you. Sometimes when you got it too made, y'all ready? I ain't trying to rhyme, but you stay in the shade too long. Come on, somebody. The only reason you move from the shade tree is because you see something else that's better. Come on, somebody. And although you got to walk a little bit further, but it gets to the bigger tree, it moves you from where you was at. Come on, don't let me pull out my whole lesson. It takes you out of your comfort zone. It takes you out of your comfort zone. And perhaps that's why the lesson is hitting you right now, because it's taking you out of your comfort zone. Come on, somebody. Because all your life you've been taught, God's going to tell you this. God's going to control this. God's going to do this. God got this. And God says, I gave you power. I gave you control. It's on you now. All right, here it is. Let me hurry. Let me hurry. All right, here it is. Here it is. And in whatever. Tell me to say whatever. In whatever. Oh, he does. He prospers. That's right. Watch class. And comes to maturity. Y'all ready for it? Y'all, are y'all sure you're ready? Yes, sir. Okay. So the tree that's firm and planted takes me back. Watch this now. Takes me back to what God is telling us for all year. I build. That's right. Purpose, plan, path. Yes. That's the tree. You the tree. Come on. Yes, Come. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here. Yes, yes, sir. You, Go ahead. You, you, you the tree. Yes. Yes. Now, this lesson talking about you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you the tree. Okay. 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 You the tree. I, I, don't, I don't know how to tell people writing their Bible, yeah. but you might want to write in your Bible where it says tree. Put your name right there. Yeah. Oh, glory. Oh, yeah. You might want to put your name. <laughs> you might want to put your name. Uh, and he would be like Ron from the planet. Yeah. 
ice road trucker. Because some stuff that you got to cross over, you have to, you have, uh, 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 you could fall through. That means the ice could give away if the weight is not right. That means if the weight is not right and your balance is not right in driving, you could blow the whole thing. And some people are not willing to take that risk. But you got certain drivers that says, wait a minute, you're trying to tell me that I can make in one season what it would take me three seasons to make if I just go ahead and take a chance. Touch your neighbor and say, I think I'm ready to take a chance with God. I think I'm ready to travel to my next level with God. I think I'm ready for the travel across the stump in one season that I wouldn't be able to travel in another season. I drove a trucker. All right, so watch this now. So for to be an ice road trucker, you got to qualify. First of all, you got to be a regular trucker. You got to have so many miles under your belt as a regular trucker. And sometimes that would sway people away from uh, applying for the job. But I remember this one young girl, this one young girl here now, one young girl, she had a newborn baby. And she was a single mother who lived with her mom. And she said, I got to make a better living for my family. Yeah. And I'm willing to take a risk on driving ice road trucks. Yeah. Because I only have to work one season out of the year. Yeah. And then I can take care of my baby the rest of the time. Yeah. So she travels on up, travels on up to Ontario, Canada. She travels up there and she goes there and she walks in there. Little old thing goes in there and she said, yeah, I'm looking for a job. God looks at her and says, well, what kind of job? So I want to be an ice road trucker. He said, well, what you think? He said, well, why do you think you have what it takes? Say, because I'm not afraid. Oh. Can I tell you, Christian, something? You got to get to the place where you're not afraid. Yes. You got to be willing to do what others won't do. Even when they ask you the question, the only thing that to roll off your lips is, I'm not afraid. Yes. Christian goes up there. He said, I'll tell you what. He said, all right, give me a second. He goes in, walks around, he, he looks outside, he looks at them, he comes back in. He said, all right, I'll tell you what, this is what we're going to do. He said, what we're going to do is we're going to ride around the parking lot. Yeah. Let me see how you maneuver the truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he said, by the way, how long you been driving? Watch this class. I just got my license. Yeah. 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 I know some of your mates just got saved. Yeah. I know some of your mates just got the right revelation. But it don't matter how long you had it. At least you got it. All right, watch this, kids. Watch this, kids. So he goes here. He, 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 shakes, he shakes his head. He says, all right, come on, let's go here. He puts her in there. She gets in there. She, she drive, first she drives around with him. She's doing pretty good and whatnot. Then he says, all right. He said, now you drive. I'm going to step outside and I'm going to watch you drive. He said, don't hit nothing now. Don't hit nothing. Don't hit the cones that I put up now. He said, I'm going to tell you right now, what you driving on now is solid. Yeah. But what you're going to be driving on is not solid. Yeah. What you're going to be driving on, watch this, has the capacity to let go. Yeah. But are you willing to still keep going although it's trying to let go? Sometimes stuff you're going to drive over, some of the roads going to start giving away while you driving. But you still got to be like, but I'm going to make this load. Yes, you're going to still keep right on going. Yeah. She's getting up there, she drives around, she hits a couple of cones and all that. She get out of the truck. Watch it. He says, I'll let you know tomorrow. <laughs> she, she walks away. Okay. Hold on. Before tomorrow can even come, yeah. he calls up and says, hey, when can you start? She said, I can start right now. Yeah. He, <laughs> he, he's like, come in the morning. Yeah. She comes in the morning past the team. Watch that. Get the truck. He's all right. He said, I'm going to give you a straight load. Straight load means when the, the route you're going on, it's a straight shot. Yeah. Yeah. But although it's straight, don't mean it's an easy one. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Don't mean it's an easy one, though. Yeah. Say, I'm going to give you a straight one. Say, because I don't want you to be navigating and all stuff, trying to figure out turns and all that. Yeah. I'm going to give you a straight one. Say, if you make this one, you are ice road truck. Come on, now. Yes, sir. Because here's the Bible. God got you on a straight path right now. But it don't mean it's going to be easy. If you can make it through the straight path, you'll be a real Christian then. You go through hell, she 
take it. Watch back. Did she take it? Going up. And she, I mean, everything going good. She's so excited. She's driving and whatnot. And then she hits the part. The part that they've been talking about. Yeah. A crossing. Yes, now, when you hit a crossing, that means now you're actually driving on water. But the water is ice. Yeah. It's become solid. For to have the capacity to hold the weight of the load. All right. And that's why the weight of the load has to be so many pounds. And you got to trust who's loading your load oh, for the transport. Oh, okay. So she, she sits there. So she gets out of the truck. Pass she, she go and she kiss. Right now. And she get back in the truck. And she gets up there, she called the guy that mentored. Say, hey, I'm getting ready to make my first crossing. And, she, and he said, all right. He said, I stepped here the whole time with you. Watch that thing. She go up. He, he said, just edge it and go slow. Just go slow. He said, and what you do is open your door. So if you feel like, if you feel, you get a, if you get a sense of urgency that, you, that it's going to give away, just chill out. It's yeah. okay. He said, like, but only do that if you know for sure that it's going down. She edges, she, she going, watch the CJ, and when you go, when you go across the ice, you hear crack. I mean, it's crack, I mean, it's crack. I mean, it feel like everything's about to bust. That's how it is in your life, in your walk, when God telling you, uh, get some control of yourself. See, like stuff in your life start cracking. Stuff start popping. Why start popping? Because you're crossing over unfamiliar territory. You crossed over stuff that you ain't never crossed over before. But you're going to get to the other side. I hear you. I hear you, Pete. No, the other side is where the ground is at. But you got to cross where there's no road at in order for it to get to the other side. You got to cross over on something that has the capacity to either carry you or drop you. She across the road. She going. She going. And it's cracking. And uh, I mean, she's crying. She was for real. She got tears coming down her eyes because uh, she's seeing flashback. She's seeing her little baby. And what if, what if I go down? What if I go down? I mean, she cried. And, and the mentor talking to do. It's okay. You got it. Come on. You got it now. Huh? Where, where you at now? I, I'm, I'm getting almost halfway. All right. All right. Don't speed up. Keep your same speed. Because sometimes, sometimes when we get almost halfway or where we think God wants us at, we want to speed up the process. And God said, if you're going to control yourself, Terry, you can't speed up the process although you're making progress. Comes up and says, hey, what is going? She gets halfway. She's not halfway. I'm halfway. He's all right. Keep saying speed. She's going. She's going. I mean, the truck. I mean, she, she's so far out there now, there is no turning back. God tell you, you are so far out there now. There is no turning back, baby. You are here now. She gets, she said, I can see the lights. I forgot to tell you what night time. Wow. I forgot to tell you. She was crossing at night. So she couldn't see everything she could have saw if it was day. Your greatest crossing is going to be in your night hours. She crossed there and she see light. And she tell her, I see light. He said, get close now. When you start seeing the horizon of your control, that means you're close to mastering your own control. Yeah, yeah. She said, and she gets a little further. She said, I, I, see, I, I, can see, I can see the road. He said, keep your same speed. And we, and we see, he said, now when you get about 15 feet, he said, give it all you got. Because it's when you're almost at the end is when it tends to give out. Yeah. Because all the water is rushing. It's rushing so it comes unlevel. And that's what causes the ice to crack. Because it comes unlevel. That's how it is in your life. Things in your life begin to come unlevel. And that's what causes your mind to try and crack. But it says when you get almost to the end, you got to give it everything you got. That means every law, every teacher, everything that God ever taught you, everything that God ever allowed you to go through, you got to use that as your momentum for to give it everything you got. And I know it seems like you might want to quit right there, but when you want to quit, that's when you got to give it all you got. Yeah. Yeah. She gets that. <laughs> and when she, when she, she said, when she gets 15 feet, she said, like, I'm here. He said, give it all you got. He said, but she stops. And makes it. And boy, when she gets there, she stops and 
she just start crying and tell her, I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you for getting me through this. Thank you so much. Forgive me. I know I can do it. She got off the CB with him and called the boss and say, I made it. He said, you are ice road trucker now. Can I tell somebody something? God is on the other side of your lane. And he's trying to tell somebody, you are Christian now. Because you made it. I'm out of time, man. <laughs> Let's pray, Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you, Father. Lord, we know every crossing. <laughs> it's not an easy crossing. Watch class. But because of the cross, we can handle the crossing. So, Holy Spirit, I ask you now, intercede on the behalf of all these crosses. <laughs> Here, there, and everywhere. We're crossing over in certain areas of our life that we've never crossed over before. But God, I know because of the cross, we're able to make it. I thank you now, Lord, for that wall. It's getting higher and higher. That wall of prayer. Save souls all around the world. Here, there, and everywhere. Save souls. Lord, I thank you, Father, in advance for all that you will continue to do. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Come on, class. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. All right, let's bless the Lord.